Hey, have you ever heard about that guy that totally tried to start a riot on March 9th, 1949? Well, then I'll tell you a little story. You know, I don't like how the African Americans are being treated today. I should go out tomorrow and publicly speak on the 14th Amendment and about how the leaders of today are so bummy. Honey! What? I need my speaking box! You want more soup? Ugh, no, my box! <sighs> Gonna go outside and exercise my First Amendment rights. This seems like a pretty busy street. I think I'll set up right here. Hear ye, hear ye. I call upon the forces of Goku to summon forth 40 African Americans and 40 whites to listen to me. You summoned me? As well as I. Well, it's not 80 people, but I want all of you to become aware that your president, Harry S. Truman, is not giving full rights to African-American populace. He is a bum and an outrage. Truman's a bum! He's a rotten bum! He's taking your money, other things, and other things, you know? Know what I'm saying? What? You must rise up above the tyranny. This is an outrage! Truman is taking your lives! Dear, are you gonna sit back and do nothing about it? He is one big bum, taking all your money! Are you serious? What?! You don't all want to be lemmings, do you? Rise above it! Become the lion! Truman is a bum! Cop! You have to stop this! This man is creating a scene! I'm getting so mad that he's stopping cars and blocking sidewalks! I may have to advance with aggression if you don't arrest him right now on the spot! Yeah, I guess you're right. Sir, stop speaking! What? Why? I have my rights! No. Sir, stop speaking! What? Why? I have my rights! No. Sir, stop speaking! What? Why? I have my rights. No. Sir, you're being arrested. Stop speaking. What? Why? I have my rights. No. No, you don't. Not when you're creating a riot. Ugh. You're going to the big house. Find it. Well, then what happened? I don't know. Well, I do. You may be seated, Mr. Finer. Okay. Well, we'll now draw attention to the crime you committed at a street corner in New York on March 9th, 1949. You are not only disturbing the peace, but you are also creating a riot. Are you Actually, as far as I'm concerned, the evidence does not show that the crowd was about to riot. Police should have just simply removed the hostile members of the crowd. Not to mention, he himself wasn't actually causing the disturbance. I agree. He was not disturbing the peace. Even if that is so, I believe the justices and I will now regather at the mothership and discuss this situation. Thank you for waiting three months. Now for the answer. On a six to three vote, New York wins. We will also make notion that the police should not have been used to silence unpopular views. They should not have arrested Mr. Finer based upon his speech content. All of this has been based upon three states how you can talk about whatever you want within the First Amendment. Freedom of speech 